Boom, Ski Studios in the motherfucking house. What's up, son? How we doing today? A little brisk out, you know what I mean? We had an all right weekend. What do you want to say, you know what I mean? Eh, hey, hey. Whatever, dude. Whatever. This this freaking guy over here, huh? Whatever, man. You know, um, it is what it is. You know, another day, man. I'm grateful to be alive, you know? It's like, it's unbelievable, right? And, uh... I swear, I just got an Uber, an Uber back. You know, I was uh, at a recovery thing. You know what I mean? I'm not supposed to say. But, uh, I change up a little, you know what I mean? But, um, and, you know, I get somebody in the in the ride, and uh, we're talking, and, um, you know, and she ends up admitting to me, like, you know, years ago, she thought, you know, she didn't want to be here anymore. And, uh, she tried to, to take herself out, and um, she came back, you know what I mean, and uh, like she was saved, and she um, is so grateful to be alive now, and uh, I know, like, I've talked about it in the past, like, I was like, yeah, when people hit me with Narcan, you know what I mean, like, I came out, and I thanked them, and and I would just tell them, you know, how much, like, I, I was glad that they saved me. Well, <laughs> I was talking to somebody the other day, and they actually had to remind me but that ain't always true, you know, because I obviously I overdosed so many times, I, I kind of forgot, but um, I don't know how many years ago this was, but this was probably, you know, around 2017, maybe, 2016, I'm not 100% sure on the times, like I always say I'm off at the times, but I got hit with Narcan, and they were pissed because I was in their house, and, you know, they're in a certain type of apartment building. And, you know, if the cops come there for somebody on Narcan, everybody in the family could be kicked out. And I thanked them by telling them I was pissed at them because I didn't even want to be taken. I didn't even want to come back. And then that, like, started to remind me that that wasn't the only time that that happened. There was at least two other times that I remembered now that when I got hit with Narcan, I was pissed that they saved me. And I was like, you should just let me die. And it's crazy, man, because it kind of, like, hits me in the heart to even think about that shit, man. Because, like, I was so miserable that I didn't actually want to be saved. I wanted to to die. You know what I mean? I wanted to fucking die. And, uh, like, I'm grateful today to be alive. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes I, I get, like, you know, a little bit depressed here and there. You know? And, uh... Especially thinking, of, I don't even want to talk about this, man, but this suboxone shit, man, like, I'm, I'm struggling getting off of it. I'm having a very hard time. Um, I'm, I'm at the littlest shit, and it's like, I can't get past this little spot, dude, and it's like, I should just stop taking it. But the problem is, here's the problem, is that I get very upset, and, like, I, I don't know... If I could act out on somebody else because I can't handle my own emotions when it's, it, I'm not feeling good like that. It, it doesn't just make me depressed. It makes me an angry person, you know? Like, I, I was with somebody and she was giving me a ride home, like, within the last week ago. And uh, somebody cuts us off. And, like, I'm pissed. She's actually pissed, too. And she's like, I hope that person gets into an accident. Is that, like, do people think like that? And I'm like, dude, of course people think like that. Like, I'm about ready to take this fucking guy out, bro. I got my friggin' blade out, kid. I'll stick him. You know what I mean? But, uh, like, like I think about it, obviously, I'm not gonna do that. But if the guy pulled the car over, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, and it's like, it just gotta bring me back to the fact that, like, thank God, man, I'm here, bro, because... Like, I always say, man, like, I, I was not a nice person. Like, I was not. I was not a happy camper. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know, like, what it was, dude. I, I just, you know, well, I know what it was, dude. I, you know, I was addicted to drugs. But, um, and that messes with your brain. And, like, I gotta, like, remind myself that even though I am on, like, Suboxone, which sucks because it's, like, embarrassing to admit I've been trying to come off this stuff. But, uh, like... Dude, I know, I know for a hundred percent fact, I would have paid thousands to get to where I am right now a year ago. You know, nine months ago, I would have paid everything I had 
just to be where I am right now, you know? And it's like, you know, I, 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 I'm like, ah, oh, I take the littlest piece. Yeah, but I'm still taking it, you know what I mean? It's like fucking, ah, I want to punch myself in the face, you know what I mean? Like, pff, you know? But, like, whatever, dude. I got to do what it is to get past it, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's weird, though. Like, it's, this is almost like a therapy type shit, you know what I mean? Like... Like, you people, man, I tell you people more more shit than I tell, like, friggin' most people I talk to. But most people I talk to probably watch this shit, so you know anyway. You know what I mean? Because sometimes people be like, oh, well, who is that person you were talking about in this? You know, but, um, I just, I just was like, you know, like, I was an angry person. I like to hurt people because I was hurt. Hurt people, hurt people. But tough times make tough people, man. And, uh... I'll tell you, if tough times make tough people, I'm pretty fucking tough, you know? I was talking to a friend, too, yesterday, and, like, we were talking about the hole. And it's like, dude, when you're in the hole, dude, in jail, like, dude, I, I, I don't know. I, I got a month, but I think I did, like, I don't even know how many days I did. But uh, it was at least three weeks. But, it like, people don't realize how, like, crazy it is to be in a room when you have nobody to talk to. You can't, it's, you don't know what's going on out there. And you got no news, no nothing, dude. It's it's just, it's complete alone. You're completely alone. And so it's like, when you think about that, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, how can I not be grateful for where I am right now? You know? Sometimes I even think about, like, yo, the stuff I say on here. Oh, you know, like, what are people going to think? Da, da, da. But truth is, man, the truth is, is like, you got to be yourself no matter what. You know what I mean? Like, no matter what side you pick, other people are going to be against that side. So you might as well go with the side you, you're you on, unless you're going to be a switcher and flip here and there. And, and if, if you're afraid to tell your side or or to and you're going to lie, you're only lying if you're doing something wrong. You know what I mean? And if you want to sit there and play both sides, you're doing yourself wrong. Because you got to, you know what I mean? Like, you got to make a choice on what you are you know, what you believe. And if you really believe it, and you believe that that's right, you gotta go with that shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's all or nothing, man. You know what I mean? You're gonna live positive, you're gonna live negative. Which side do you want? And whatever side you want, you might as well be ready to go all the way. You know? Like, I know when I was in the street, man, if I was with my friends, right, and some people rolled up and they wanted to, like, beef or they or whatever, and I sat there and I took off, Bro, I wouldn't, bro, my friends would never have been friends with me, bro. Especially the fact that I started a bunch of shit. And then when something else goes wrong with somebody else, I'm going to take off. Come on, bro, that's some, that's some, that's some bitch shit, bro. So, you know what, when it, when it's like what I believe in, and I, I'll tell you this, like I really do, man, I try to be a good person. You know what I mean? Like if my friends need me, like I'm there for them. 100%, bro. Like anybody that's my real close friend that's like needed me, I know for a fact that they'll say that I was there for them, especially today. You know what I mean? And like, I'll tell you this, like if you're watching this video and like you think I'm talking about you, I guarantee you there's other people out there that, you know what I mean? It's not just you, bro. It's everybody. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm there for them. Because you know why? Because I'm grateful to be here, man. I'm grateful to be here now. And, and if I can help somebody, that shit makes me feel better. You know? Like I, uh, you know, I try to, like, guide people to do the right shit. You know what I mean? This one ain't, like, too much of a funny one, but it's just kind of, like, a thing, man. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. A lot of shit going on out there. You know what I mean? Like, the wars and shit. It's, like, all this money getting thrown at wars. And then I know, like, I, boom, I branch off into some new shit. But it's, like, come on, bro. Look at this shit, man. Like, like we're on the verge of a world war. And I feel like all like these politicians it's all want us to go to war. Oh, let's fight for Ukraine, fight for Ukraine. Oh, now now Israel's more important, so now we gotta do Israel. You know, and it's like I understand that bad shit is happening to people. You know what I mean? But bad shit's happening on both sides, you know, and but you know, obviously I feel one side's a little bit worse here, and one side is the one that attacked. But it's like we were attacked before, you know what I mean? It's like we got people standing up on the other side, and it's like, I don't really understand that because I feel like they weren't here and they didn't see what happened or they didn't experience what happened. Well, like, come on, bro. 
Like if somebody goes off and they kill your family member and then your family member strikes back and gets, you're going to tell your family member, oh, let it go. Let it go. That's some, that's some pussy ass shit, bro. Like we got to be honest here. That's some pussy ass shit. Like, bro, you can't just keep taking hits and just keep taking them and just eating them. You know, I seen some shit on uh, a channel I watch. Uh, it's a guy. He does like a federal prison shit. He's a, it's one of the, one of the better channels I watch, in my opinion. And uh, he showed a video today. You know, if anybody wants to see the video, I'll send it to you. But there was uh, it's in Alabama, dude, in prison. And uh, down there, bro, it's terrible. You know what I mean? It's terrible for everybody. But if you're white, you go in there. It's really bad, I guess, because like there's barely any white people, and the white people that go in. Most of them probably come from, like, you know, out in the woods or something, the bayou, and they don't really know what real violence is. You know what I mean? Like, they might have seen something, but it's not compared to, like, city violence. You know what I mean? And then, like, you put all those people that were the violent person in the city and they're all together, it just gets that much worse. You know what I mean? Like, I only been to Middleton, bro, and I've seen some brutal shit in there. And, uh... And this is like 10 times, 20, 100 times worse than that. They had this dude, a uh, white dude, and there's a bunch of black dudes around him. And one of the dudes is stomping him. Another dude's hitting him with a belt. And it's like, like in my mind, I'm like, like, bro, if that was me, I ain't going to sit there and lay on the ground. I'm going to have to fight for whatever. You know what I mean? And like, you got to stand up and fight. Bro, if you're getting jumped or whatever, you got to do the best thing that you, you got to fight for your life. You're fighting for your life right there. And this guy didn't fight. And you know what happened? He died. He died. He got beat to death with the belt. The other dude stomping him in the head. Like, I can send you the video if you want to see it. I don't know if you guys want to, but it's pretty friggin' brutal. Well, the guy died. You know what I mean? I don't know. Some of the people are saying he was like a level three. I don't know if he was or not. I tried looking it up. The guy's name, I think, was Derek Wendell Martin or Derek Martin or something. I, it's Those names are in it, but I just don't know what order it is. But uh, the guy was beat to death. You know what I mean? But regardless, that guy had a family. You know what I mean? And his family's probably hurt by it. You know what I mean? And, uh, and like, when you live the wrong way, like, you can end up in a prison where that that's where what life is. You know what I mean? And that's like a living hell. A living house, especially down there, bro. Because I don't, I don't, I think if you don't even fight, you won't even get your food. You know what I mean? I feel like they just drop the food off into the block, and if you don't, like, you don't go, because people will sit there and take multiple trays, and if you don't like get up there first, like motherfuckers will take that shit, and you, if you don't fight for it, you get, you ain't getting food any day. You know what I mean? Like that's why, like, like for me, it's like. I don't know. You got to stand up for yourself, because and it's if you don't stand up for yourself. Like, especially in jail or something. If people see you get punked out, ain't nobody gonna have your back. So if you ain't fighting for you, nobody else is gonna fight for you either. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's just, it's just terrible out there, man. It's terrible. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta fight for your life. And if you're out there messing up, like, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like, you could be addicted to anything. If you ain't fighting to get to beat it, you're going to be stuck in it, man. You're going to be fucking stuck. You know what I mean? And, like, it's it's just a very, very depressing situation. So, it's like, you got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? Just sucks, man. I know this ain't, like, the too, like, you know, too jokey motherfucking shit. You know what I mean? Like, we got to, like, you know, you got to do, you do got to smile. You got to smile a little bit. You know what I mean? But that's smart. At least, at least a smart, you know. I don't know. Reminds me of like, uh, what was it? I think it's uh, Man on Fire. He's joking with the little girl. She's like, "Crazy, you laughed." He's like, "I didn't laugh. That was a smirk. That was a half a smirk." I said, "Oh, you did it again." You know what I mean? I thought that shit was funny. That girl was cute, man. She's a little cute girl, you know. But I don't know, man. It's your life, all right. It's you can do like literally. You could pretty much almost do anything. As long as you believe it. And like, you know, as the days go on, man, I'm getting better and better, you know? Like, I saved up some dough, although I'm going to have to pay it. Because you, if you watch any of my videos, you've seen this shit, man. I, gotta, I owe money. But whatever, it's my fault. It could be way worse than this. Just keep your head up out there. You know what I mean? Like, it's tough. So you got to be tougher. You know what I mean? Strive. It's your life, man. Live, do what you got to do. You know what I mean? And tell the people next that you care about, you got to tell them you love them because you never know when it's going to be somebody's last day. You know what I mean? Like, I was just telling the Uber driver that. 
she's like, she's like, well, like both saying, like, you were meant to be my driver. You know what I mean? And like, you gotta, you know, because they put it on the news, like, oh, God is, God is terrible. Da 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 da. People that like God, you know, you're all, you're all terrible people. But dude, come on, man. God saved me, and He can save you too. Just keep your head up, man. I care. Like, I'm not joking. Like, really, though. Like, I, fu I mess around sometimes, but I do care about it. I care about people in general, man. You're all my God, all my brother under God, man. I care about you all. So just keep your head up. I'm touching in for a little bit. I know, I know I've been slacking. I've been slacking like crazy. So just, uh, I don't know, hit like. Hit like, man. You can't hit like for me? Come on. Can't the kid get a like? <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Have a great day. Have a great night, day, morning. Breakfast, dinner, whatever the hell you're doing today, enjoy it. Because I told you to. Ski Studios out.